Well, Linda, thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, you're very welcome, Cam. And a, another big victory for gun owners in Ohio. The House passed uh, House Bill 40, uh, 495 last week by a vote of 57 to 26. Uh, what exactly does this bill do? Yeah, well, um, a couple of things. It will remove the competency training from those of us who are coming up for our second renewal for our concealed handgun license next year and every subsequent year. Uh, the law said that we have to go back to an instructor prior to our second renewal and show competency with our firearm. So that's one of the points that will strike that from the law. And which we've kind of looked at that is they, when they initially did that, they really discriminated against the gun owner because when I go renew my driver's license, I don't have to go drive for the BMV. Um, one of the other points would be um, the definition of a loaded. Mm -hmm. Most of us think, you know, I've taken my loaded magazine, I've in inserted it into my gun, and that makes it a loaded gun. Well, in Ohio, if I've got a loaded magazine separate from my firearm, and unless I'm carrying and in my vehicle, um, that is considered a loaded gun, which is very nonsense, especially for all of our thousands of folks who are going to be traveling to Camp Perry here very shortly right. and have preloaded their rifle mags. Absolutely. So, so that will take care of that. Oh, great. And then the other point is uh, reciprocity. It will allow the Attorney General to more easily uh, make reciprocity agreements with other states. Right now they have to have similar training requirements as Ohio, which we've got 12 hours. So this will allow the AG to more easily make those reciprocity agreements. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, and, and so uh, this is a House bill. Uh, had this already passed out of the Senate? Was this a concurrence mm -hmm. vote? No, 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 we didn't run a corresponding bill, so they have just gone on summer break. We were kind of hoping that the Senate would stay for the rest of this month, but they aren't. Um, hopefully they'll come back for a couple weeks in September. It seems like traditionally in the election years they do come back for a couple weeks in September just to do a little cleanup. That way we can get a couple hearings because in Ohio, we tend to need three hearings on a bill. So once again, we're going to be looking at lame duck, which seems to be where most of our bills end up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so should gun owners uh, go ahead and make contact with their state senators, or should they hold off? Uh, well, um, it wouldn't hurt to have them go ahead and notify their senators that, Hey, I'd like to have uh, House Bill 495 uh, pushed through the Senate as quick as possible when you come back. All right. Well, listen, I really appreciate you coming on the program, Linda, and uh, uh, we'll be talking to you again very soon. Okay, Cam. Thank you. Thank you. Linda Walker with the Buckeye Farms Association joining us here tonight on NRA News.